it, th- so they've had a long career and yeah. especially for for guys that don't they they <laughs> there's no, I don't want to call it contentiousness within the band but didn't always appear to get along with each other or to even like each other that much yeah um you know most bands i mean you know bands don't get started because four guys or girls know each other for 10 years and then they start a band most bands start because you know out of 30 people there's one playing guitar and if you're lucky you have a friend that plays another instrument and then you start searching for other ones and do you know a drummer yeah i've heard about this drummer she lives over there and then suddenly you have a band and most of those bands just you know finish after a while but if that band becomes world famous and get hits then you are stuck with those people for the rest of your life <laughs> so that's that's the problem with so many bands you know uh that suddenly you have to deal with these people uh, that you would maybe never see again you know if the band was not successful so i guess that's the story of aha and the story of many bands uh, and and uh but but their stubbornness and their personalities yeah. is also the reason why they had success, I think. You know, that they really believed in things that everybody thought was a joke. And they just insisted and they felt that we have music that is good enough. And we have uh, this singer and he has a great voice and we write great music. And it, it is at top international level. If we get some help, we, we're going to make it. And you need, you know, to, to say that to yourself and to others... Uh, in in the late 70s and early 80s in Norway was insane, but totally insane. <laughs> now you can say it and nobody will, and people say, yeah, maybe you're right. But at, at that time, you know, you needed, and, and most people just laughed at them, but they still continued. So for a while they were very together, you know, and it was yeah. those three against the world. But after they had the breakthrough, what happens is, you know, Morton gets all the attention and, and everybody thinks he looks great and sings great. And Paul gets recognition for being a fantastic songwriter. And people kind of don't notice that Magna has been a really important part of the songwriting too. He wrote a riff of, on Take On Me. It's paying all their bills today. <laughs> and so all three kind of don't feel appreciated in their own band by the other two. <laughs> So that's that's a that's a big problem with this band. You know, they they don't they they don't appreciate each other's talents enough to really make the band as good as it could have been because they could have been even bigger. <laughs> 